payback story about a North Jersey hospital that went bankrupt and closed in 2007 and has now been resuscitated. Hackensack University Medical Center at Pascack Valley will reopen on June 1st. Joining me now is Robert Garrett, the president and CEO of Hackensack University Medical Center. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Desiree. Well, well, tell us about this launch. Are you all set for your June 1st opening? We are. We're very excited about it. It's the first hospital to uh, open as a new hospital in our state in uh, nearly 30 years, a whole generation. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited. It's a uh, full-service community hospital, 128 beds, offering all private patient rooms to our community. Mm -hmm. So we're making all the necessary preparations and hiring the staff, and uh, we, we will be totally ready by June 1st. State-of-the-art technology? State-of-the-art technology. The uh, facility has been totally renovated. There'll be six operating rooms. There'll be a cardiac catheterization uh, lab um, and all state-of-the-art equipment. Now, if you look at the history of this, we know that uh, the hospital closed years back uh, for financial problems. And there was a report that said that there were too many hospital beds in New Jersey. And certainly there are other hospitals in the area. Um, some just six or 15 miles away. Mm -hmm. um, do you still think there's a demand? Oh, I think there is a demand. I think the reason the hospital closed was not because there wasn't a community need or physician support. It closed because there were some poor management uh, decisions that were made back in the uh, early 2000s. But uh, there certainly is a, a big demand uh, for, uh, for these health services. You know, it was certainly proven during the certificate of need process. And I'm happy to say that the community uh, never wavered. There's a lot of support, a lot of anticipation. And specifically, the physician community has always supported it. And as a matter of fact, to date, there are over 600 physicians who have applied for privileges at this uh, hospital. The other thing that's, that's noteworthy is the um, old Pascack Valley Hospital was 291 beds. We have right-sized this hospital for the needs of the community and in, in today, in 2013, to 128 beds. We mm -hmm. think that's the right number. And also, this is a for-profit facility? You're partnering with them? We are partnering yeah. with a for-profit uh, company from uh, Dallas, uh, Texas, LHP. And uh, they put up some of the capital, and Hackensack has put up some of the uh, assets. But we think the partnership and the, the joint venture approach really brings the best of both worlds. And what I mean by that is the for-profit brings necessary capital uh, that they can invest into the uh, community, into the, uh, the hospital. And the not-for-profit, like Hackensack, which has a very strong quality reputation, we bring our quality standards. We also uh, bring a lot of um, influence at the governance level to be sure that our name, our brand is protected and that the community is very well served. Now, how do you buck the trend? Meaning, um, what about a third of New Jersey hospitals are operating in the red? Yeah, some of those hospitals are, are operating in the red because of the, uh, the area that they're in, the, the payer mix that they uh, particularly have, and they, they are unfortunately um, struggling. With, uh, with uh, Pascack Valley, we think because of the community support, because of the fact that the physicians really want this hospital to reopen, and they're going to be very involved, phys physicians will, in the governance of the hospital. 50% of the hospital board, as an example, are going to be made up of doctors. They're going to be heavily represented on every committee, so every decision, every policy that's passed will have a lot of physician input. So we believe that that model, if you will, will uh, lead to a very, very successful um, Hospital. Okay. Well, another issue certainly we have to talk about is uh, health care reform. How do you think that will impact um, your hospital and hospitals across New Jersey, given the fact that a lot of uninsured Americans will now be able to access health care? Yes. Yeah, so one of the biggest developments is, is of course, uh, when Governor Christie decided to expand the Medicaid program under the uh, health care reform provisions. I think it's about 110,000 additional New Jersey residents will be eligible for, uh, for health care. I think that's a great thing. I think there are a lot of uh, folks that were really um, had a lack of uh, access or under access to, uh, to health care. The biggest concern I have is that we have a, uh, a large uh, primary care physician shortage. So the question will be, you know, where will these patients be seen? Will they have access to primary care mm -hmm. physicians? And if they use the hospital emergency room as their primary care physician, that's not really the best uh, place to receive that kind of care. It's certainly not the most efficient mm. way to receive care. So I'm looking forward to the expansion of the Medicaid program, but I, I do have concerns because of that uh, physician shortage. Mm. Sir, we thank you for your insight and your time. Thanks. It was a pleasure.